even though the Israelites get to walk on the dry ground as they cross the Red Sea, well, Pharaoh's army did not have so much luck. They ended up drowning in the Red Sea as a way for God to protect God's people and also to punish and to diminish uh, Pharaoh and his army. And so um, actually there has been, it looks like some uh, archeological evidence that they have found some chariots in the Red Sea. Check this out. In the spring of 2000, a robotic camera was lowered into these waters for the first time. This has never been done. No one has been in the area at all with a remote control camera. The robotic camera's survey revealed many shapes and objects familiar to Moeller, including coral formations with right angles, arches, discs, and straight shafts fused into larger masses that had the appearance of twisted wreckage. Now, when we have been able to go back and forth with a remote control camera, we can repeatedly see that these strange structures we are looking for are there, not at one place, but you see them again and again and again. There are situations where you see something that looks like an axle, a hub, something that looks like a wheel, and you say to yourself, this is not a coral reef, this is a coral growth on an artifact. And that is what's different to me when I compare corals at other locations around the world. Since the earliest explorations at Nueva, one distinctive type of formation has often been identified on the sea floor. A slender, table-like structure sometimes standing on end with a coral encrusted base, a straight shaft, and a circular top. It's a 90 degree angle, a right angle, between something that looks like an axle and the wheel. And you can see this in different varieties, and it looks very different from normal coral growth. And uh, it is like a man-made structure with a coral growth on it. In the midst of them, Pan Tien photographed this circular object attached to what appears to have been a broken axle or hub. This discovery was significant for two reasons. Pan Tien had documented the coral encrusted form of a wheel with dimensions similar to ancient Egyptian artifacts directly across from the proposed Nueva crossing site. Her find also provided independent confirmation of earlier evidence establishing wheel-like formations on both coasts of the Red Sea in accordance with descriptions in the biblical record. And the Lord looked down on the Egyptian army, and he made the wheels of their chariots come off. So there you go, a look at Pharaoh's chariots in the Red Sea, and that's enough today for our Historical Minute.